in the room next door. I just kind of break the internet. Sometimes the internet connection works best when I'm just, you know, a few feet away through the wall. But, uh, you know, all that handshaking, it's just uh, too many terms. Uh, uh, no, but actually, I, I'm just in, in neighboring Utah, and I, I, I have uh, had this uh, planned uh, family vacation for a while, so I'm sorry I can't join you there uh, in biological form, uh, but I'd say this is actually pretty fun. And, um, you know, we... Uh, these kinds of ideas, like telepresence, which uh, which might have been science fiction just uh, a couple decades ago, and, and now you kind of see it uh, cobbled together uh, pretty nicely, Scott. No offense, but this is in its earliest stages. Uh, <laughs> um, but it's uh, but it's actually working, uh, and uh, I was able to earlier drive around, talk with a few of you a little bit here, uh, been able to use it a bit in the office. Um, it's, uh, it's just incredible to see uh, such a basic concept start to come to fruition. And uh, I think the X Prize, uh, in many ways, allows IBS to come to fruition uh, like that, uh, only uh, that much faster. When we started talking about the Lunar X Prize, as Peter mentioned three years ago, the idea uh, the idea of just uh, you know, private individuals or companies or whatnot actually making a space mission seemed really far-fetched. Uh, and in fact, I got the sign-off uh, from, from most of our executives, it was no problem because they said, oh, nobody's ever going to make it to the moon, uh, we don't have to worry about it at all. Um, <laughs> Uh, of course, uh, myself and, and, and all of us who will do really hope that this, uh, one of these missions succeeds, and I have good optimism that it will. If you think about the kinds of resources that uh, companies might spend, like uh, companies you know, of our size might spend on sponsoring, say, a sports event, um, a, uh, an auto race, uh, things like that, um, you know, it's all companies spend millions of dollars or tens of millions of dollars on things like that. And the idea that we can put those kinds of resources to work on something uh, so dramatic and amazing uh, as a return to the moon, and uh, perhaps even, this is one of the bonus prizes, if you will, is to be able to actually see some of the original Apollo hardware. Uh, that, that's pretty spectacular to me. I think if we look at where, where the space program has gone the past 50 years uh, or so, it's certainly a disappointment that uh, in 1961, uh, starting from that point, in eight years, we were able to put a man on the moon and return safely back. Uh, but today, uh, even though we decided to go to the moon, I can't remember, it was, it was in the, the, the last administration sometime, was it like uh, four years ago or so? Uh, anyhow, we decided to go to the moon again, and now uh, you know, it keeps getting pushed back. But, but having already done it, having all our new technology, uh, now it might take 15 or 20 years. Uh, and, and, and significantly more cost, even as I understand it, uh, when adjusted for inflation. Uh, but I think what that really means is that the uh, sort of Cold War-driven uh, large government projects are not going to be the sources of uh, innovation and exploration primarily uh, for some of these missions, at least not, uh, not directly. Uh, instead, it's going to be small entrepreneurial uh, projects. And, uh, and, and I hope some of them will be funded uh, by government resources. I'm excited that uh, NASA has done a number of these kinds of prizes now uh, themselves. Uh, and uh, the DARPA Grand, Channel, Grand Challenge has been a government-sponsored prize for robotics. Uh, but given the state of technology today, what a small group of motivated people could do, uh, I think this kind of system, this kind of prize system, is going to drive us to go farther uh, and faster than we would in any other way. And, and I'm personally very excited at the prospects uh, of uh, the Google Lunar X Prize coming won uh, in, in years. Uh, I hope to see spacecraft on their way. 
And uh, more importantly, I hope to see this uh, proliferation of lots of individual tiny uh, teams using, uh, using very creative technologies. Uh, one example I just want to mention very quickly, one of the teams for the Google Lunar X Prize hopes to uh, succeed by making everything very small. Like they're going to send a cell phone-sized uh, cell phone sized robot to the moon. And when you look at what you can pack today in cell phones, I just have one in my pocket here. I don't know if you guys can see it on my face uh, screen as where this is anyway, your average cell phone. But this has more computation power in it uh, than the server computers that we started Google with, uh, actually substantially more. So when you look at those kinds of trends uh, happening, uh, that was over the course of a decade or so, uh, but the incredible changes you see on a two or three year horizon, uh, I think that's why you're going to see smart people who take advantage of these technologies early realize that you can do something new and different and far cheaper than you could have before. Uh, and and that's, that's what the XPRIZE really symbolizes in my mind. And that's why uh, I'm excited to play the old new play. Um, Anyhow, that's, uh, that's uh, all I have to say. I don't know what's, uh, Peter, what's next on the program for us here? Well, buddy, uh, I think uh, we're going to say... We have Robin turn him off. <laughs> Actually, he was, he was saying he was going to bail you out of jail because you look like you were not a person. <laughs> but um, anyway, just a heartfelt thank you, Sergey, for your support for the Google Lunar X Prize. I hope in the near future I'm able to do this sort of teleconference uh, from the moon. Uh, well, perhaps you all will have the party on the moon and I'll be elsewhere. Uh, but uh, just a few X prizes away, just watch out. Anyway, bon appetit, have a great uh, dessert, I guess is what's left. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks, buddy. So that was really cool, huh? Uh, yeah. uh, the next pro the next person I'd like to have you uh, to have step up at a meeting we had about uh, about I should say after the Ansari X Prize was won, we asked ourselves what was next, and the very first thing we talked about, actually with Bert Rutan, was that there was a hundred year old automotive industry that needed some shocking and some prodding forward. And, and uh... <laughs> Good night, Sergei. <laughs> and, and, uh, a good friend, we asked, we designed an automotive X Prize, and the question was, what company would step up to being our sponsor? And a good friend, Dean Kamen, said, you guys need to speak to Progressive Insurance. And we were introduced by Dean Kamen uh, to the CEO and chairman, Glenn Renwick. Uh, and it was Glenn's boldness and his team's willingness to step up. And I have to say, I'm just back from Detroit, from the Michigan International Speedway, where I watched 36 different vehicles competing in 0 to 60, braking tests, collision avoidance. Now we start with 136 vehicles, we're down to the top 36, and by the end of the summer we'll be down in the top three, and in Washington DC we'll be announcing who's going to get the Progressive Insurance $10 million Automotive X Prize. So I'd like you to please welcome the Chairman and CEO, Glenn Renwick of Progressive Insurance. In the, in the flesh, I should say. Good evening. 